Welcome to the official personality guru. ESCP is a Myers-Briggs personality type that stands for extroverted, sensing, thinking, and perceiving. And it's one of the 16 personality types found in the Myers-Briggs type indicator. Those with this personality type tend to be more interested in focusing on the present rather than the future. They might also be outgoing, initiating, and participatory in events. You may also hear people refer to the ESTP personality as the entrepreneur. Those with this personality type tend to have a strong impact on their surroundings. ESCPs enjoy entertaining others. Often, positioning themselves at the center of social situations, they're usually energetic in conversation, although they prefer to talk about real-life situations rather than abstract concepts. An ESTP is often adventurous and feels comfortable taking risks. Additional personality characteristics include the ability to solve problems in innovative ways, spontaneity, and a willingness to take risks. Today, let's talk about things you relate to if you're an ESCP. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and ring the bell icon to get a regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. ESCPs have several values that help them lead. They value objectiveness in their work, avoiding opinions and suggestions they can't quantify. Similarly, they like to work with facts, data, and statistics as much as possible to produce solid results. ESCPs also value power and respect leaders of their industry. Since they like to lead, they most likely prefer being in a position of power. ESCPs work for immediate payoffs due to their affinity for focusing on current events. They want to see the results of their work immediately instead of waiting several weeks or months. For example, an ESCP might enjoy working as a landscape architect where they can quickly see their efforts. They also usually find motivation in the praise and attention they receive from others. They work hard for outcomes that their co-workers or managers will notice. They can find satisfaction in receiving recognition during a team meeting, earning an Employee of the Month award, or obtaining a promotion to a highly visible position. People of the following types are more likely than most to share the ESTP's values, interests, and general approach to life. They won't necessarily agree on everything, and there is no guarantee they'll always get along, but they are more likely to feel an easier port and have plenty of things in common. ESTPs are often natural athletes. They easily navigate their physical environment and are typically highly coordinated. They like to use this physical attitude in the pursuit of excitement and adventure, and they often enjoy putting their skills to the test in risky or even dangerous activities. The ESTP's focus is action at the moment. They're engaged with their environments and solve practical problems quickly. ESTPs are excellent in emergencies when they can apply their logical reasoning to situations where immediate action is necessary. Long-term goals are less interesting to the ESTP, who prefers to see tangible results at the moment. The first thing you notice about the ESTP is likely to be their energy. They're often chatting, joking, and flirting with friends and strangers alike. They enjoy engaging playfully with others and amusing everyone around them with their irreverent sense of humor. They tend to keep people on their toes, never quite knowing what the ESTP will poke fun at next. ESTPs are unabashedly gregarious with people, but their interest in individuals may not last long. They're more likely to work a room laughing with everyone than they are to engage in-depth anyone person. ESCPs are comfortable in their physical environment and always looking for some action or activity. They tend to be the most naturally coordinated of all types and are often found playing sports or engaging in various physical activities, especially ones with an element of danger. They are stereotypical adrenaline junkies and may be found in skydiving, motorcycle racing, or enjoying other extreme sports. 1. You're a thinking type, but you also have a charm. You can usually tell how people are feeling based on their body language. You're very attentive to nonverbal cues and are pretty quick to respond. You know how to lighten the mood when feelings and things are getting too serious. You know how to make someone laugh when they're feeling sad. You're good at getting people to loosen up and take a life a little less seriously. 2. You hate nothing more than being micromanaged. You like to figure out your way to do things and hate following a prescribed rule book or guideline. People tend to underestimate you because you don't externalize your thought process. Your logic is very internalized because of your introverted thinking. You're a master of efficiency and quick to find shortcuts that other people miss. People who tell you what to do, how to do it, and look over your shoulder are just slowing down your process. 3. Rules are made to be broken. You don't like generalized rules or following one-size-fits-all guidelines. 
Your logic is precise and has to apply to the context of the situation. You can debate an issue from almost any side and you find that rules only work in specific situations. 4. You're always sorting through data to figure out what's important and what's worthless. You're always refining and re-refining the data you take in to classify and organize it into the most usable and accurate categories. You're constantly asking yourself, is this true? Why? Is this usable? Why? This is usually done internally and other people may not realize you're doing it. 5. You crave independence. Your autonomy is very important to you. You hate rules and structures and routines that disrupt your ability to be spontaneous and flexible but this doesn't mean that some stereotypes imply that you're unable to make a competent or be reliable. But it does mean you need more time to think things over before making a long-term decision. 6. You're outdoorsy. Getting into nature and interacting with it gives you a natural high. You want to feel alive and one of the best ways to do that is to engage with the physical world. You enjoy recreation and getting in tune with the sights, sounds, and textures of nature. You're always daring yourself to greater and greater physical feats. In fact, according to the MBTI manual, the SCPs are overrepresented in playing sports as their preferred leisure activity. 7. You relate to Jason Bourne. Maybe you're not quite as stoic as he is, but when you're in a room, you can be completely attentive to the conversation you're having while also noticing when people come and go, what they're wearing or eating, whether there are any treats or threats in the vicinity, how you'll respond if there are, you do this without even trying. It just comes naturally. 8. You're an extrovert, but talking all day holds little interest to you. You'd rather be doing something and taking action than sitting around engaging in small talk. Long, drawn-out conversations can make you feel bored and restless. Where's the activity? Where's the excitement? Let's do something. How about you? As an ESTP or any other personality type, what are the things you relate to? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. 9. You're extremely attentive to opportunities. You're constantly scanning your environment for what would be fun, exciting, and advantageous. You know how to jump on opportunities quickly and make fast decisions that optimize the moment. Before we continue, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official Personality Guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. 10. You're the realist of all realists. Sure, those INTJs out there might call themselves masterminds, but while they're concocting a strategy for a plan that will take place in 50 years, you just happen to notice that they're driving 20 miles below the speed limit and their right turn signal is still on even though they got into their lane 5 minutes ago. As an ESCP, you're incredibly in tune with the reality and what's practical right now. You take in the current environment in all its detail and respond more rapidly than most types do.